Hey everybody, it's me, Becca, back um, with another vlog. Um, I haven't really done much vlogging over the past few days. I've been busy. Um, yesterday I was at my friend Jessica's house and I spent the night and helped her move stuff and everything and I haven't really been home and I haven't really been active since like the 4th of July, so, which reminds me, I was supposed to make a 4th of July vlog until I must have had like too much pictures and stuff on there. And my Windows Media, our uh, Windows Movie Maker kind of just like, um, you know, crashed, whatever, wouldn't work. So I won't be using that, which probably means I won't be able to put this vlog up if I can't use Windows Movie Maker because that's what I used to edit these. But, you know, I'll just find whatever else to do to, you know, find something else to make it work. Um, I wanted to talk nothing about, nothing really, um, important, but, you know, whatever. Um, I am counting down the minutes to Big Brother 11, which should be on soon. Um, and I am so excited because I've been waiting for this for a few months, um, because I really love that show. It's amazing, and you guys should watch it, because I think you'll like it, too. If you're into drama, <laughs> um, you know, reality shows, people locked in houses for months with strangers with no way out except for getting voted off, then the show is for you. Um, and, yeah. Right now I'm watching Friends, or was watching Friends. Somebody came out and changed the channel, and now it's Dr. Phil. But I'm okay with that because Big Brother is coming on right after Dr. Phil on this exact channel, so whoever changed it was actually a genius. Um, oh yeah, I got my hair cut a few days ago. I think it was Tuesday. I don't know what today is, to be honest with you. I can't keep track of the dates during the summer. But if, if today is Thursday, then it was two days ago. It was on July 7th. I know that for a fact. Because that's the day Rob Thomas was on David Letterman. So, um, and that's the day I missed it on David Letterman because I went to Jessica's house and helped her move or whatever. But anyways, um, yeah, I, I, I don't really, I didn't really like the way it turned out at first because the lady cut it shorter than I thought she would and it looked nothing like the picture I showed you. And if I had the picture with me, I would show it to you, but I left it at the barber sh or the beauty salon, so you won't be seeing that. But it looked nothing like I wanted it. And so I guess I'm stuck with it. But I'm just happy I didn't do it like two days before school started because at least it gives it time to grow back before August 24th when I go back to school. But I'm going for more of a daring look anyways because there's this guy I really like at school. I'm going to try to get his attention with this haircut. So hopefully it works. Um, and I'm going to be changing my style a lot too, you know, try to get his attention and catch his eye, you know. Yeah. Um, but anyways, you should let me, you should tell me how you feel about my new hair because I'm really in need of, you know, some nice words because I've basically been telling myself I look like a fruitcake because I do. Um, and, yeah. And basically everybody else in my house agrees that it looks really bad and I shouldn't have done it kind of agree with them, but I don't regret it. It's, I like it, I guess, to a point. Um, not my favorite hairstyle I've ever had, but, you know, what are you going to do? What's done is done. I mean, it's only hair. It'll grow back, but, you know, I, I told my mom I would never be walking out of this house until it grew back anyways, but that was a lie because I left yesterday to go to my friend's house, but, you know, whatever. Um... Yeah, so that's basically all I wanted to talk about, but, um, I, I forgot what I was going to say, but I know it was something. If I can remember before I post this, then I will make another little thing added on to this. But, um, yeah, so this is another vlog with me, and I'll be back to vlog with you later, and so I hope you enjoyed this, even though I kind of am rambling right now, but, um, yeah, before I bore you with the details, um, of, you know, basically what I haven't been doing, <laughs> um, I'm gonna let you go, and I'll vlog later, okay? Bye! Hey, guys!
guys, it's um, me again, obviously, on my back, because I remembered what I was going to say. Um, I was going to talk about the Naked Brothers Band because my best friend Morgan um, randomly just started, like, loving them. I never knew she liked them, and if I would have known earlier, I would have, you know, talked to her more about it. Um, but I never really told her because I didn't want her to think I was, like, really weird. I mean, we already liked Hanson, and we already get teased enough, and... Um, getting made fun of for liking the Naked Brothers fan would just be really odd and a different experience. So, I guess I, I, I waited until, like, just a week ago to tell her I liked them, even though I've liked them since I was in, like, fifth or sixth grade, ever since the movie came out. Um, I, um, I want you guys to check them out because, um, well, for a few reasons. They're, re they're um, I was going to say their reasons. Their music is really cute and fun and um, really catchy. Um, and Nat Wolf is really cute, and so is Thomas Bitwello, or as Morgan would call him, T-Bat. Um, and now I'm going to start laughing because that name was, it was really cute and funny. Um, really, that was a really clever thing of Morgan to come up with T-Bat. That was funny. Um, but anyways, yeah, check out their music, check out their show, and you should obviously let me know what you think about them, because if you're into, like, different kind of, like, kid-sounding classic rock, like, I don't know, then you'll, you'll like them. It's different, but different in a good way. And I don't know if you guys have heard that song, Banana Smoothie, Banana Smoothie. Yeah, it's called Banana Smoothie, obviously. And um, really fun and nice and catchy and not like one of those really depressing songs. You, you should, yeah, anyways, you can just like skip fast forward through all this rambling and mumbo jumbo and um, go check them out. Let me know what you think. And I will be back later if I remember anything else I was going to say, which I think that was it, but I can't remember completely because I just can't remember anymore. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Naked Brothers Band, Nat Wolf, Wolf T-Bat, Thomas Atello, Naked Brothers Band. Check them out. And I will see you in my next vlog. So, peace out.